That was a very cool road. Okay, Spokane Creek Campground. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of woods. <laughs> well do i have to do this by myself there's a lot of trees oh my gosh uh there's four dead presidents cut in stone their heads are really big mm -hmm. take 2852 go my head's chopped off in this picture now <laughs> take 1374 <laughs> Anything you'd like to say about this? Five hours later. Hello, we just finished camping in the Black Hills of South Dakota. It was gorgeous. We stayed at Spokane Creek Cabins and Campground. So, uh, Spokane Creek Campground is situated on Iron uh, Mountain. It's uh, essentially it's on 16A that a lot of motorcyclists and uh people that have like you know cars that they want to go for a drive uh they like to go on it because it's got a lot of different twists and turns um and it's got tunnels and everything that are carved in the stone that you can actually see uh mount rushmore so that was kind of cool Um, the campground itself has uh, a lot of different amenities. It's got a pool, a playground, shower houses, cabins, camping sites, and tent camping sites. Um, it sits right up against the Black Hills, uh, the National Park, uh, which is a positive and a negative. Uh, you know, the positive is, you know, it's really cool to be right next to a national park. The views were amazing. The negatives... Uh, would be that our uh our spot they didn't tell us this but the spot that they gave us uh was sitting right up against the national park and beans how it's sitting up against the national park they can't have a fire pit there so we were never told that and you know it was, it was kind of disappointed from the kids because they weren't able to have a fire next to our house now luckily our house sorry our camper uh, well, we need to look in the first email they sent us. I don't know if they would have said it in there or not. Well, anyway, uh, luckily the cabin uh, that my that uh, Trini's parents uh, had, they uh, they had a fire pit, so we were able to still do a fire there. Um, what did you think of it? Its proximity to everything we wanted to see was awesome. Um, Iron Mountain Road is gorgeous. There's all these places you pull off and it's, I'm not just being cliche here, it's literally breathtaking. Um, the, the stuff you see, nowhere else I've ever been looked like that. Um, at one point we like came around to turn and there was this little pull off and Dustin's like, oh, there's Mount Rushmore. <laughs> we just couldn't believe it. It was just beautiful. Um, and the kids really liked going through the tunnels that are cut right out of the rock. That was really cool. So proximity wise, awesome. As far as a place that I would just want to hang out by the camper, like I would at a um, state park, no, because it is not set up like a state park. You are very close together, and um, the sites are kind of like stair-stepped. So, you know, you really got a pretty small space you're working with there, and that's the nature of the area and the land. I mean, it's nothing against them. That's just the way it has to be set up because it's not flat. Um, 
Um, the playground was awesome. It was a little too cold for the kids to swim, so I'm not really sure about the pool. Um, I like the bathhouse. You know, the, the bathhouse is, uh, they actually combined, like, the ba bathroom with the shower house all together, and, you know, it was pretty well clean it every time we were there. brand new, modern. Cell phone reception, don't expect to be able don't to expect anything. make a phone call, do anything. Nope. Uh, they say they have Wi-Fi, and they do. You have to be right in front of the store in order to use their Wi-Fi. Yeah. So, uh, during like the lightning storm, I was able to hop on there real quick and let people know that we had made it there. Um, and that was about all I could do. And... So, I mean, not having a cell phone is not exactly a bad thing, but, you know, when you, when we're also in a world that there's no pay phones, it is kind of nervous, you know, it makes me nervous that, you know, if something were to happen and their office was closed, there's, you know, nothing you can really do. And kind of expect that in a lot of areas in the Black Hills. You know, once you get close to Rushmore, you'll have some service but then as soon as you leave gone again as soon as you start going down the hill it's gone again so expect that and if you have to work um on the internet while you're camping it's it's not gonna it's not gonna be the place for you <laughs> there's not even cell service you you can't even hotspot. at least for at&t and other people told me verizon was pretty much the same i bet starlink would work out there probably um my parents stayed in a cabin. Um, the cabin was cute, but I thought there was a couple things maybe that before summer they could have taken care of, like um, a couple holes in the deck that I was just nervous the kids would uh, fall right down into or twist their foot or something. Um, and it was pretty cold when we were there and mom and dad told me there's only one heater, um, for that cabin. So yeah. if you're going to stay in the big cabin at Spokane Creek, maybe bring your own heater cause they're only giving you one. <laughs> yep. Well, we're going to finish this up with a few more sites around the campground uh -huh. and, um, that'll be it for this one. Thanks for watching. I hope it helps. This is just the laundry room. J. Michael, go use the bathroom. Oh, good thing you looked there, Abby. I've been looking for a bag of cinnamon. You need to have it.